From TMZ live appearances to scoring interviews with Gene Simmons, young Edmonton YouTubers are finding a lot of success and drawing worldwide attention to our city. Many have turned their passions into thousands and even millions of online views. They're trading notes tonight at a downtown Edmonton creators meetup. So joining me in the studio now are local YouTubers Lincoln Ho and Cassius Morris. Good Thanks morning to you both. Yeah. Good morning. So Cassius, what is it about Edmonton that makes it a good place for YouTubers, do you think? Um, well, at least for me, from my perspective, I do entertainment stuff, uh, photography of major events. Uh, so the best thing about Edmonton is the nightlife, the entertainment scene. Uh, we have comedy every night of the week, music almost every night of the week. We have the Rogers Place now, which has you know incredible new opportunities, uh, for, even for up-and-coming photographers. Um, so I think it's just a wealth of culture and entertainment in the city that makes it a really good place to be for this. You've been able to actually interview some big names as well. Uh, Terry Crews, Gene Simmons, as I already mentioned. Yeah. Is it easy to convince these big names to talk to you? It's certainly not easy. Um, to give you some perspective, it can be easier sometimes than others. With Terry Crews, it was one email and we could arrange something. Uh, with Gene Simmons, it was just about a decade of me trying to do this. A decade. Yeah, I started at the age of nine. I'm uh, 20 now. So I've been working since then to get Gene. And uh, on the day of the Edmonton Expo, I ended up standing in there for about eight hours waiting for him to come in, and he came in. So, you know, it's just it really just depends how much you want it and what you want exactly. What other challenges do you think he faces as a YouTuber in this city, too? Um, you know, it's interesting. I think that standalone media in general faces a lot of challenges in this city, um, especially when you're starting to come up in the ranks. I'm coming into uh, different places where I'm the only one who's doing independent media. It's all major conglomerations and corporations. Um, so I think that, you know, since there isn't as many YouTubers in this city as maybe other major cities, it may not be understood as well, especially by major corporations. Uh, so I think we lack some of that understanding, but I think that we're getting more YouTubers and more people coming in and doing it, so it's, it's becoming easier. Now, when we hear something like half a million or a million views or something like that, that's views, but how do you actually make money off of YouTube as well? Um, well, you know, it's one of those things where the system isn't exactly set for smaller people in this business. It's really set for the big, big guys like the Joe Rogans with millions of views to come in and make money. Uh, so that's really, I think, the main one of the main challenges faced by YouTubers is that you can't quite make it a living part-time. You kind of need something else on the side until you reach that really big level. Mm -hmm. And now, Cash, just very quickly before you guys go, what do you expect to go down at tonight's meetup? Uh, you know, tonight I think it's going to be running with the theme of the past meetups, which has just been community uh, sharing and building together. Uh, that's one of the things that, again, I really like about Edmonton. Uh, people in this community want to come up all at once and to help each other out, and I think that's what it's all about. Great. Well, thanks so much, guys, for coming in and talking about this. Thank you. Thank you.